Hey, hello. Welcome to RimWorld. We've been making rapid progress with the desert colony. And with this new raid, it's time for everyone's favorite RimWorld activity. I don't mean battle, I mean it's clean. It's consensual. It's time to get organized. I of course mean this guy has venom fangs and I want them. And Ibrahim also needs a left lung and a kidney, which just happens to be... Barely enough to keep someone alive while taking those. It's for the greater good. We'll get those jaws out in no time. And it worked. Ah, there we are. Venom jaws. These are mine now. Everyone loves it in this colony. Just look how happy they are. No, but in all seriousness, uh, it's, it's improved. The one problem with this place is that we don't have armor. There was a plethora of comments that uh, pointed out there is mid-game armor, which I completely neglected. Flak armor. Still learning after about 600 hours of play, gotta say. Some of you guys will comment things that I never even thought of. So... Yeah, flak armor. So this is so that we don't get our eyeballs shredded and... I mean, this might seem grotesque, but in the last video, Sparagais lost both of her eyes. A tragedy, but thanks to modern medicine, she was able to have one of... The They're very expensive, though. She's doing great. Okay, how are we doing there? Ooh, failed catastrophically. All right, well... Um, oops. Of course, there would be a man-hunting pack of Kasauri, right as everyone is dying. Shoot them with a machine gun. There we go. Great job, people. Great job. I wonder what's happening, though. There we go. Nice. Good. No, they're, they've broken the line. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Look, they're coming in to attack us. Okay, we're, we are alive. Those several are downed. Slay the beasts. Man, Zulu failed to get this left lung. Instead, he accidentally crushed it. I love how specific this game gets. Fourth left toe. Ooh, this isn't looking too good. Save her. Somebody save her. Oh good, she's saved. She's saved. We've saved her. We're gonna need a lot of new body parts, I think. Okay, Sa is not looking so good. Has decided that he really wants to help us. So we're going to allow him to help us. Go, Zulu, go. And... Uh... Oh, whoops, that was his last lung. Well... Um, jolly good. Well, in order to prevent this type of thing from happening again in the future, we always have... Flak armor. Yes, flak armor, of course, and also this flak vest. Please stop getting your lungs destroyed. You need those. It's time to give Ibrahim back this lung. He needs one. And like the old saying goes, if at first you don't succeed, come on. The harder you think, the better the chance it works. And it, oh, it worked. So underwhelming whenever it works. Okay, he's got a lung back. Great. Everybody in this colony is turning into Frankenstein. We're all gonna be like Cyberpunk 2077 by the time it's done. Lobster and Mallard are in love. Lobster romanced Mallard by describing him as a beautiful son. He became aroused and agreed to become her lover. Love. Here come the repairs. Here come the harvests. The sowing. The hauling. The brewing. The pantsing. The hitting. The smoking. And the cleaning of the place. It's now time to expand our throne room and to pay gold to rich people. Of course, give them more gold because they need more. Give them all of it. Okay. Oh, interesting. I never realized that the negotiator actually gets the royalty. Originally, I'd been getting royalty for Zulu. It made sense, yes, though Zulu's also incapable of social, which means he can't give royal speeches, so that's not really worth it. So Sky will probably make a better royal. I like her for other reasons, but uh, you win some, you lose some, you know. Really, you're just best off giving it to somebody with social and uh, research skills. We don't have both, so we gotta settle for one. Alas, I heartily enjoy it. Ah, the pit of despair grows. The natural supplements are harvested, and then they're sold on the black market in exchange for some indigo cloth. Now it's time to embark upon a strange new quest. I've always struggled to keep colonists alive. They always seem to be torn up by the time I'm done with any videos. So I'm going to actually give them armor this time. Yes, real armor. We're making everyone flak helmets and flak jackets. If you go slower, you raise the chances that your colonists will actually survive to see the rocket launch. Who would have thunk it, right? And then we'll pit them all up against each other in battle. Wooden plate armor, flak armor, and eventually, uh, and eventually recon armor and better. Just like weapons, armor rises through the ages. We also have a brawler among our colonists, so we're going to give him our uranium mace. Supposedly, if we get a few melee colonists, we can tie up any mechanoids we meet in battle. Look, our allies leave us gifts now. A steel axe and a great bow. Thank you, savage peoples. Oh, well, this uranium mace goes to Mallard, the brawler, and that should save us from many mechanoids in the future. 
future. Well, now our colonists are cleaned, planted, and outfitted. With no real social malfeasances and a lot of good relationships, they are pretty stable too. They, they don't break. They work quickly and quietly. Oh god. Okay, this is what we were ready for. Massive toxic fallout. Just uh, roof in everything now. Roof it all in. No one gets to see the light of day ever again. Toxic fallout isn't that bad from the colonies I built. Ever since being in the Arctic, I... I feel much more at peace with anything being wrong outside. And I welcome it. There we are. Now we're like boy in a bubble. Now this isn't a death sentence, it just means that gradually whenever your colonists are underneath this stuff, they'll get poisoned. Oh, transport pod crash. A friend, a friend. It's no problem as long as we put up more roof. And we make a place called Toxic Cow. This will be the animal's new, uh, allowed area while there's toxicity in the sky. We're going to send all of the animals to Toxic Cow now, obviously. Just their- their lives are gonna get pretty boring. They- they just eat from the hydroponics basins. We just have to live with it. Okay, animals, go to Toxic Cow. Now they just eat psychoid all day. And mate, under the roof. This isn't really a death sentence, it just means we need to kind of live like Fallout, you know? It's fun though, it's interesting. One of the most difficult events to negotiate, especially in the early game, but now it's pretty minor. Well, you may be wondering about these corpses, and how everyone is wearing a flak vest now, and how the time has changed. Uh... My power was smackledorfed in the middle of the video, and I record in MP4 format, so we were infested. We completed the creation of flak armor for everyone. Yes, no flak armor left behind. We researched precision rifling, and now we research charge rifles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no longer will I be smackledorfed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, not that much has changed, though. It takes a long time to do things. Like carve up all of the insect meat, or clean the goddamn floor. Well, it's time to make five sniper rifles. Oh yeah, there was also a siege. Damn, I, f I feel like a lot happened now. Oh well. Now, I didn't make armor early game, mainly because we're living in the desert. It's more important to have temperature managing gear, because it's just cheaper than air conditioning the entire base, which we now have. We are rich. This important graph shows it. But now it's time to leave the past behind. Go and set the world on fire. No, literally set the world on fire. Ah, uh, the taste of 1500 degrees and rising fighting for profit. Nicholas Cosmelo, freeholder of the Empire of Otisari, is making a request of us. Three groups of pirates from the Knuckle Duster Band have been harassing his caravans in the area. He asks that we send him a challenge message, attracting them to attack and eliminating the threat ourselves. There's a lot of stuff, and we'll have eight Janissaries. Yo-ho indeed. Yo-ho indeed. The answer is yes. Here come the Janissaries. Good, good. This is going to be extremely, uh, practically impossible to defeat, but it'll make Sky into a royal. How will that help? I don't know. Look, these aren't prisoner beds, they're people beds. Oh, you'll love it here. Look how much they're helping. And they feed themselves. Look, they even build their own beds. I can't uh, tell if this is just a smile, like a really high smile, or if he's just- All right, they each found a cozy look. That's not- well, whatever. This one will be pretty stressed out today. <laughs> this is a nudist. This one's just been misunderstood forever. Yep. An ugly nudist jogger. So misunderstood. Oh, they're all good shots. That's nice. This might catapult our colony into a new golden age. Thank you, royal people. Yes, good. Fill the pit of despair. Little do they know that for the last few months I've been arming all of my colonists to the teeth with defenses and high power long range weapons. They will make a good sacrifice. The whole place is positively buzzing now. It's nice to have so many more colonists running around and not really pay the penalty for them. I've always been skeptical of these borrowed soldier quests, but it's kinda nice to have these people just take care of your base and not really have to pay for them. They just need beds. They feed themselves. This colony has never been so well run before. It's about to get slammed. All right, here they come. That's a lot of pirates. Send them on, everyone's drafted. Okay, let's get organized, people. We've got one good option. Snipe from far away. Okay, let's put the- we- we want them to die, not us. Let's put them mostly in the front. We'll put them in the dangerous spots to stand. Okay, I see we're getting started already. They've got some, uh... Oh, they've got a bubble. Jesus. Okay, let's see how this works. We've taken out their grenadier, and the rest who are coming closer are falling. 
We'll have to go in there, though, for their shield. And some of them are falling, but we're in the ideal spots to stand. Lucia's abil- Brain injury has caused him to develop strange savant-like injury. Oh god! Lush got shot in the brain. He's like Rain Man now or something. Well, we did well with these organs. And let's capture Luck. Transhumanist. Well, we're going to fulfill that desire for him. Okay, hold the line. Hold the line, people. We've still got a lot left to do. There's a lot of assault rifles on the ground as well. Okay, take a break. Take a break, I say. Yeah, there's another one coming. Well, here come three more raids and then there'll be another one. Okay, we're going to save Luck and then we'll use him later. Here comes a siege as well. Oh, there's a siege during the raid. Okay. All right, that's interesting. Well, you know which lives we're gonna throw at it. All right, go earn your money. Sparrowgeist and Ibrahim go shoot from long range. Everyone else is redrafted. Okay, I'm just going to run the Greeks directly in and, uh... Oh god, what was that? I'm just gonna say, thank god that wasn't us. That really could have been us. You know what, just defend the snipers. That's all I care about. Let them run into their own fire. Take out their sniper and we fight the rest from within. We'll fight them like Stalingrad. Okay, we got one group to flee. Cayman and Lush fended off one group, but Cayman's downed. Take him down and take out the rest. And it looks like the attack on the southern front is just burned up. Save yourselves. Save me. Zulu doctor them. The pains it took in the founding of Rome. Lucia's left leg was destroyed. Cayman's right arm was destroyed. Lucia's left leg destroyed too. And many of the plants will be destroyed as well. We hardly have enough medicine here. Save the cows. Okay, the bull is saved. And a uranium meteorite. And it's also 150 degrees outside. Well, it doesn't really matter what happens to the Greeks. That won't affect our colony. But this was all in pursuit of a royal title, which we now have. Praise Zeus. But the death. The death indeed. Well, at the end of it, we may have a replacement for some of our lost parts. Well, all of this, of course, culminates in a royal ceremony. Uh, clean this up. There it is. There it is. This place looks ready for a royal ceremony. Come on down. Oh, great. I ignore all of these breaks. Okay. All right. Begin the... Yeah. Okay. Sky has an ability now. Burden. Slow the target for a short time by suppressing the motor activity in the brain. Okay, so now for having fought all of those pirates, we can slightly slow someone down. I'm not here to say that the rewards and preferences are out of whack, I'm just reporting them. This is it. It does last for 20 seconds, though. And there they go off into the distance. Well, at least our attackers left 63 smoke leaf here. That's something you don't see every day. Why don't you bring those in? We also just got a ton of weapons from that attack. We're pretty much ready to arm up an entire army. Unfortunately, an attacker dropped this doomsday rocket launcher. It's bio-coded. Really a shame that she couldn't use it before. But why would you get one of these things bio-coded to you? Well, marriage is on. And that's good news. Because this place looks like Jigsaw's lair and we need something to keep us going. But I think we can aim higher. Go bigger. These colonists have come far. They have a, br they have a literal brewing fridge. Similar to the Arctic, I'm glad we've made of Earth a paradise unto itself. But much yet remains still in the way of defense. I'd like to get our colonists to be indestructible. But right now, that invasion still did pose a threat to us, like it or not. And though we we may have yet dealt with infestation and other possible dangers. There's a plethora of other things that could kill us. So let the fires burn on. And as they do, we keep advancing in the ways of technology. Much as it always has, it will lead the way. We'll leave it there for today. A major thanks to my patrons. You know who you are. I really appreciate it. And thanks to viewers like you. I'm Ambiguous Amphibian. Until next time.